Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. ABCD is a unit square with each side of length 1. What is the shaded area outside the two quarter circles within the square as shown in the figure? So we have the square of each side 1 and then we have two quarter circles within the square and let's label the area the area that's shaded that's the area we are asked to find out as x and then we have these two equal areas uh, by symmetry so these two areas I'm labeling each of them as y so they should be equal by symmetry and then we have this middle um, curved area let's call that z so according to these levels if we add all of these areas up we'll get the area of the square which is simply one so we have x plus y sorry x plus 2y plus z because we have included y twice in the addition right uh, so x plus 2y plus z is equal to one which is simply the area of the square now consider the summation of the areas of y and z so y and z together they make up one of those quarter circles right it's pretty obvious from the labeling so if we add y plus z we are getting going to get the area of the quarter circle and the area of the quarter circle and these quarter circle they have the radius e equal to the side of the square which is one so the area of the quarter circle is simply pi 1 square divided by 4. Pi 1 square is the area of the full circle and we have a quarter circle so we divide by 4 and that gives us pi by 4. So we have y plus z equal to pi by 4. Now we have two equations here and if we just treat them like algebraic equations and we subtract the second equation of the first equation we have z cancelling out and then we are left with x plus y is equal to 1 minus pi by 4. So, next consider joining, you know, these points by the two line segments in blue as shown in the figure. And we have a triangle formed in the middle. Let's call this, the area of this triangle as T. So, instead of the label Z, which we put out for the entire curved portion, we have now this triangle T whose area is t, and then we have these two circular segments, which again, by symmetry, they should be equal. So let's label each one of those areas as s. And we have essentially the area of the curved portion z equal to area of the triangle t plus the area of each of those circular segments. So if we add them up, we get z equal to t plus 2s. So what is the area t for that let's consider the triangle that's formed so each side of the triangle is basically equal to the radius of the quarter circle right because the quarter circles are all centered around the corners of the square so what we are you know what we have by joining those those line segments essentially we have a line from the center of the quarter circle to the circumference. So that's simply the radius, right? So each of those lines are of radius 1, right? And if that's the case, then this triangle T, whose area is T, that's formed in the middle, is, a, is an equilateral triangle. And we know that the area of an equilateral triangle is simply root 3 by 4 multiplied by side square. In this case, the side is 1. So we have root 3 by 4 multiplied by 1 square, which is simply root 3 by 4. Next, consider this angle that's labeled. And that's an angle of the equilateral triangle. So it's a 60 degree angle. And essentially, you know, the, the side of the square and one of those blue line segments that we have joined, they define a 60 degree sector of the circle. And we know that the area of the sector of a circle is proportional to the sector angle. So, for
for a given sector angle theta, the area of the sector can be calculated as theta divided by 360 degrees multiplied by the area of the whole circle, right? And if theta is in degrees, then we do theta by 360 degrees. If theta is in radians, we do theta by 2 pi, right? In this case, I have leveled the angle in degrees. So we can write the area of that 60 degree sector that's formed by one of those blue lines and then one of those sides of the square labeled in black. So that's the sector I'm talking about, that 60 degree sector. That, that area is simply 60 degree divided by 360 degree multiplied by the area of the full circle was pi 1 square. So that comes to pi by 6. Now, what is the area of the sector? Let's get back to our labels. So what, what is the area of that sector, that, that 60 degree sector in terms of our labels? That's simply equal to T plus S, right? It's very evident from, from the figure. So we can write T plus S is equal to pi by 6. And we have already found out what T was. T was the area of the equilateral triangle, which is root 3 by 4. So we can solve for, solve for S from this. And S comes to pi by 6 minus root 3 by 4. And if that's the value of S, we can also find what Z would be. So Z is T plus 2S. We know T is equal to root 3 by 4. We know S is equal to pi by 6 minus root 3 by 4. So Z comes to root 3 by 4 plus 2 times pi by 6 minus root 3 by 4. And if we simplify this, this will come to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4. So now we basically clean this up to make some room, but we carry over some of the important results. So we had y plus z is equal to the area of the quarter circle, which was simply pi by 4. We had x plus y equal to 1 minus pi by 4. And then we've just found out what z is, and z comes to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4. So now if we substitute the value of z in the first equation, y plus z equal to pi by 4, we can solve for y. And y will be equal to pi by 4 minus z, and z is pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4. So if we do the math here, y comes to root 3 by 4 minus pi by 12. And since we found out what y is, we can now substitute the value of y in the equation x plus y equal to 1 minus pi by 4 and solve for x. And x comes to 1 minus pi by 4 minus whatever the value of y was, which was root 3 by 4 minus pi by 12. So simplifying this, this is what we get. x is equal to 1 minus root 3 by 4 minus pi by 6. And remember, x was the area that we needed to find out, so we already solved the problem, right? So going through all the options, the correct option will be option A, 1 minus root 3 by 4 minus by basics.